Uh, welcome to the second installment in some updates that we're providing on how the federal government has changed state policy and how state lawmakers need to act to maximize federal resources that have been recently passed due to COVID-19. So today's topic is unemployment compensation. In previous videos, we've talked about how Wisconsin was the first state to enact an employment compensation uh, program and how the state program works and how you can get enrolled and get your benefits if you qualify. Uh, this video is with some updates uh, to those programs and we're going to have some additional information at the end for people that may qualify. But first and foremost, uh, a few weeks ago, Congress uh, passed the FFCRA, the Families First Coronavirus Relief Act, which provided a little more than $18 million to the state of Wisconsin to help our unemployment compensation uh, program operate. Obviously, uh, there's a high volume of people applying and receiving benefits, and the Department of Workforce Development needs additional resources to handle those calls promptly. We've already uh, done the administrative changes. The Evers administration has uh, done those changes to likely qualify for a little over $9 million. But an additional $9 million, uh, you'll see here in the, in, in the uh, uh, check boxes, uh, the legislature needs to act to repeal or suspend Wisconsin's one week waiting period in order to qualify for an additional $9 million for the department to help process and send out unemployment compensation. This is hugely important, something that I support. Uh, Democrats in the legislature have proposed repealing this uh, one week waiting period uh, for good, uh, but you, we really need to act now to take advantage of this additional $9 million. We won't be eligible for this federal money if the majority party does not act to suspend or repeal this one week waiting period for unemployment uh, benefits. The second thing that the uh, Congress did is the CARES Act, which is the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act. And it's good to know that the Department of Government acronyms is still working in this emergency. So the CARES Act was the real big uh, congressional act, uh, $2 trillion, and it makes a number of changes to unemployment compensation. So first and foremost, uh, people that are receiving unemployment compensation may be eligible for an additional $600 a week. That's on top of the unemployment benefits uh, that uh, a worker is eligible for currently. And you'll see that this program should come online by the mid, middle or the end of uh, this month and go through, the, uh, through to July. Uh, additionally, CARES uh, expands eligibility. So in a previous uh, video, we, we covered who's eligible or not eligible. And under the new federal legislation, self-employed people, uh, uh, those you know, independent contractors, people that work from home, uh, may be eligible for unemployment uh, compensation as well as uh, eligible for this $600 a week benefit. Uh, and then the federal legislation pays for an additional 13 weeks of eligibility. So it's uh, it used to be 26 weeks. It's now a total of 39 weeks that uh, workers are able to receive unemployment compensation on a weekly basis. Those are important changes. They mean a lot to working people in the state of Wisconsin. Um, they're in the process right now. The Department of Workforce Development is in the process of initiating this additional $600 a week and the expanded coverage. The federal government is providing uh, guidance to the state government, and then the state government will uh, issue uh, or take these additional applications or issue the additional benefits uh, in the coming weeks. You see here at the very bottom, uh, I'm asking and, and the department is asking that you wait to apply for these expanded benefits. Uh, we're going to post on the screen right now the website link uh, for the Frequently Asked Questions page of the Department of Workforce Development. They, uh, the department updates this website every day. It is the most current and up-to-date place to get information about whether it's okay for you to apply if you're self-employed or when this additional bump is coming. So don't apply today. Wait, check the Department of Workforce Development and when the, the federal government has communicated to the state government and they're ready for your applications, then we are encouraging you to apply, but don't do that yet. So. Legislature still needs to act to repeal or suspend the one-week waiting period to give the department uh, uh, necessary resources to continue to operate at the higher capacity 
and uh, changes are coming in the near future for people that work uh, that are self-employed uh, or independent contractors and for all working people an additional bump uh, in unemployment compensation. These are important changes. Again, the Department of Workforce Development website has great information. Apply online, uh, get these benefits, these programs uh, are, are created and supported to help uh, people displaced in emergencies like this. I hope it's helpful. Thank you.